In Beijing's Forbidden City, now the Palace Museum, there is a hall called Nansung Hall. It was the place for collecting portraits of past emperors and empresses during the Qing Dynasty. Records show that the hall has a collection of 75 portraits of emperors and empresses that include 63 portraits of emperors. Among the 63 portraits of the emperors, most emperors have one portrait each. But there are 13 portraits of Zhu Yuan Zheng, Tai Zhu of the Ming Dynasty. What is more confusing is that the portraits of the same person bear two different facial images. One image looks very handsome, with a big square face and a benevolent and kind countenance, while the other looks very ugly, with odd features, a narrow, long face filled with black birthmarks, a big nose and a big jaw. As is known to all, one person can only have one image only. But why does Zhu Yuan Jiang have two contrasting images? Which is true and which is false? Some people say that the ugly image is the true, and the handsome image is the intentional fabrication by the painter. There are similar stories spreading among people. Zhu Yuang Zheng of humble origin joined a band of rebels known as the Red Turbans that rose towards the end of the Yuan Dynasty. They fought against the corrupt and decadent rule and soon became a leader for his heroic exploits. As the final victory was in sight, Zhu Yuan Zheng was ready to ascend to the throne. He called in painters to draw a picture of him as emperor, but the painters, without knowing his real purpose, did their best to do it as vivid as possible. But the ugly image infuriated Zhu Yuan Zheng, who ordered several painters killed. But one painter was clever. He drew a picture with handsome features, so much so it was not like him at all. This pleased Zhu Yuan Zheng, who heaped praise on the painter and rewarded him handsomely. However, other people do not quite go along with the notion that Zhu Yuan Zheng was born ugly. They deem that the ugly portrait is false. But why is it that the handsome Zhu Yuan Zheng wanted to make himself look ugly? This perhaps has something to do with ancient China's metascopy with the art of discovering the character of persons by their features or by the lines of their face. In ancient China, metaposcopy was widely believed. According to the art, people who were able to pioneer earth-shaking exploits, especially the founder of a dynasty, always had an out-of-the-ordinary appearance. Historical records show that Zhu Yuan Zheng's appearance was extraordinary. The book Heresy at Tea House tells the story about Zhu Yuan Zheng's advisor, Liu Ji, identifying his master from his appearance. It was said that Liu Ji was well-read, good at metopascopy. When he learned that Zhu Yuan Zheng was born with a dragon image, he went to call on him. When seeing Zhu, he immediately knelt down, saying respectfully, You will be the son of heaven in ten years, and I am ready to serve you. Later on, it turned out that Zhu really became an outstanding leader of the Red Turbans and was then enthroned. What is the dragon image of Zhu Yuan Zheng after all? Please tune in to our next program.